previously on Luke and Juke, the movie. I was watching TV. I do have a yard you guys can mow. I don't think we ever had a sleepover. On tonight's special episode from 2004, the continuation of Luke and Juke, the movie, part two. We open on a group of five males. For obvious reasons, I can't play this, so we're just going to jump ahead. Four friends are sitting around a coffee table. Let's have a staring contest to kill some time. The group agrees. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. One, two, three, go. Yes, it's really that loud. One by one, the friends begin to drop out. Ultimately, leaving Juke as the winner. If you thought part two was going to be any better, you sadly misguided yourself. Because we're right back into another classic sleepover game. Hey guys, let's have a breath holding contest. You get it, all the friends drop out, and one eventually dies. <laughs> you can stop holding your breath now. The serial killer you were introduced to in part one, Baseball Head, wanders past a window, and for some reason decides to target this particular sleepover. Back inside, Luke declares, I'm hungry. I'm getting some food. Another friend, Kyle, warns him, You ain't having my Oreos. The next bit is scored with everyone's favorite jock jam. Two Unlimiteds, get ready for this. I'm ready for this. Luke and Kyle fight for control over the Oreos, ultimately ending in Juke, simply grabbing them. Oreos. In another part of the house, another friend, so eloquently puts it, I just have Dunk this load. And proceeds to violently relieve himself to everyone's favorite song from Messiah. <laughs> Obviously, synced with fart sounds. As the two other sports fans in the group talk in the living room. What are you looking for? Anyone at Wedge, probably. Yeah. Baseball head sneaks in. If we remember from part one, Officer Mihoff told us to be on the lookout for baseball head. He's known only as baseball head. Luckily, a friend is able to alert the group that baseball head's here before anything bad happens. Baseball head's here! Baseball head's here! Well, I'm getting out of here! I don't want to die! No! Well. Juke, we gotta get baseball head. Okay. Luke and Juke agree to go after Baseball Head because he's ruined their sleepover. A Looney Tunes style chase ensues, accompanied by the Swedish band Redneck's smash hit of 1994, Cotton Eye Joe. Ultimately, Baseball Head corners the two brothers. Time's up, puppy dick! Oh my god! That's okay, man. When suddenly. Freeze! FBI! After an incredibly lucky run-in with an FBI agent, the agent informs Luke and Juke that he's going to now it's time to take you guys home. Turns out that just like Michael Myers, you can't kill Baseball Head. Screw you guys! I'm gonna go get a beer. He tosses the gun. Not sure why. Which causes it to fire, striking him in the back. Rightfully fed up with the situation, the brothers head off and commit to never having a sleepover again. The following day, Luke and Juke are debating what to do. So Luke, what do you want to do today? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I said I don't know, so why don't you just shut up? Luke is reading an issue of lab medicine while Juke begins tapping his finger. Soon, every noise becomes too much for Luke. Until finally, he snaps and throws a magazine at his brother. Hey, Juke! One of the reoccurring bits is the way that the brothers greet each other. Ah! Oh, remember that one time when you got dumped by that one girl? Juke asks Luke if he remembers a breakup that appears to be a sore spot in Luke's life. Oh, yeah. I remember that, Juke. He flashes back on a series of rough moments from his past. Think you've had too much. Such as listening to R.E.M. Cause everybody hurt. Are you still with me here? Okay. Juke, we gotta get to baseball practice. Baseball practice. 
Luke reminds Juke that they're about to miss baseball practice. They get into the field and split off into positions as Luke takes the mound. Who wants to be the catcher? I will. <laughs> he throws one of the worst looking first pitches in history, but somehow manages to knock Jimmy unconscious. Doing the smart thing, Luke and Juke leave the scene. Juke. Juke. Let's go. Back at home, Luke is looking for Tylenol, but instead finds Juke's leftover Vicodin from a toothache. He ultimately takes one and has quite the reaction to it. Did you take any of my Vicodin? Because if you did, you're only supposed to take one. We finally reached the end of our journey, and we're at the final bit. Unfortunately, I can't play any of it, because the entire premise is that Luke is singing along to random songs on the radio while Juke is going through a ridiculous situation in the background. In the end, Luke declares that the radio sucks, despite singing along to every song that's come on. God, the radio sucks today! Thank you for being a friend. The movie wraps up with a montage to the theme from the Golden Girls. Because why wouldn't it? Then a dancing credits montage to Stayin' Alive. Because again, why wouldn't it? Thank you for joining me on this look at Luke and Juke. Now, if you've made it this far and you need more Luke and Juke in your life, stay tuned because Luke and Juke the Movie Part 2 is coming soon. And no, it doesn't get any better. Thank you for joining me tonight. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the film. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss the next installment of Colin Harris Presents. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night.